All right, this is your first day as an entry level IT help desk, IT support specialist, desktop support, whatever you want to call yourself. But this is your first day as an IT person. They gave you a computer, a system admin or IT admin engineer or uh, manager they give you the computer a pretty powerful computer because you have a lot of access right here and luckily they told you to go ahead and configure your computer the way you want now most companies are kind of restricted on things because when someone start new they have little restrictions and things but since we say that we we're gonna we we're gonna do everything from scratch we are opening up to this that you have all the access and you need to configure everything yourself so the first thing you need to do is to create an easy account for yourself for these labs so then you can move around and do things so you will click on the server manager right here and like I said you we have done this in courses this is lab so I'm gonna do I'm gonna go through very quickly on some of the things so if you're confused go back take the course so Active Directory users and computers we are going to add a new admin account we're gonna click users new we're going to say user and we're gonna call it help us. Should we already have help us right there? So let's cancel that out. And there's a help us right there. We're just gonna right click on it, reset the password. We're gonna uncheck this one, and we will give it a very easy password. Hopefully, it will take my easy account. Yeah, okay, it did. And I'm going to check my properties, membership properties. I need to be a domain administrator. So I'm going to go and click on member off. It says right here domain user, so I won't be able to do anything. So I need to make sure that I am a domain admin. I'm going to click yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. Now this help this person is basically me, that's you or whoever you want to put in there. I have all the access to other computers. Now things are getting started and the fun will start. Now, the first thing we need to set up some softwares over here to kind of do things and I will explain what software will do what kind of calls and what kind of things you will be considering or you know doing with these softwares again and again I tell you guys that do not just focus on this software only focus on the idea and the qu the calls you will be getting so then you can use any other tool if you're faced with that situation where they say no we cannot use PDQ so yeah First of all, we will configure PDQ Deploy. PDQ Deploy is an easy software where you can deploy, like, you know, softwares to other computers. If there are, like, Adobe updates available, a new Adobe software came out, Java, Adobe Reader, Microsoft Office, you can deploy anything you want to scripts, even some other cool stuff with this, you can do that. So, PDQ Deploy, you're going to run it, click Yes, it will start installing, we're going to click Next agree next install we're going to launch it then it will ask us some questions click next the free mode we're gonna use the free mode click next and then it already automatically picked up my domain which is cool right but here I'm going to change my this name too the one that I created a domain admin account because I'm going to be using that same account everywhere else so it should go ahead and do this yep it took it and now I have PDQ deploy ready to roll so there you go your PDQ is ready and again if you want to know about PDQ stuff go back take the help this course and take the section where it says software deployment we have covered that in very detail and you can see there's a lot of things that this things provide you know a 7 zip file and if you go to the packages on the top right here it will show you all the packages that's available for free so you can actually drop you know install these packages and start deploying it right away and they give you some of the things for free as you can see they're available right here what kind of calls can you get with this? Maybe someone will call you, hey, you know, I'm getting this pop-up from Java. Uh, you need to just tell them, okay, go ahead, close your browser, make sure you save everything, and I'm going to push out an update. So you'll just go to Java, which is like right here somewhere. There you go. You basically install that to your packages here, and you just push it out. It's simple as that. It is so simple to use this software. I mean, I've been using it for years. Awesome software. Anyways. 
that's what that's the kind of calls you can get and you can see you can just click on all of these and just think about it what type of calls you will get browsers firefox chrome all over all over and you can actually deploy a full microsoft office service packs into these and you can see these are big softwares right there so there's going to be a lot of test things and things like that involved when you get these kind of calls so this lab is over i'm going to click on cancel and now we're going to go ahead and set up PDQ inventory. Inventory by its name is basically doing an inventory out there. So it scans your network, it scans your uh, Active Directory, whatever you want to put in this, it will scan it and it will give you the results of what is installed in that computer. You can actually log in from here. You can do a lot of things. So let's go ahead and set it up. You click next, click accept, next, install and we're going to click on finish same stuff again picked up our domain controller change that to help this admin that we created and that's it so it automatically pick up the first you know active directory that is running your machine so it, you can just close this out um, and look at it here is basically when you scan all the computer it will automatically put all the computers in the right places like you know memory if the computer is is 5 to 8 GB or 4 GB or less it will put it here and online system it will put it here and Microsoft Office it will put it right here and it's just awesome tool because now if your manager comes to you and they say we are ordering 300 computers I need to know out of 300 uh, basically the computer that we have the 300 computers I need to know all the computers that have 4 GB RAM can you run a report now there's two ways you can do this if you don't know you basically are going to go to each computer opening it up imagine the reboot time logging in finding it out writing it down multiply that by 300 computers then I'll tell you good luck but if you use this then in one shot you can just in five to ten minutes you'll find out how many computers you have you can run a report and give it to the manager and you're good to go so these are the things that you will be basically doing as an IT person that you're trying to do a lot of things that can be automated but at the same time you're not forgetting that you're a help desk or IT entry level person that you will basically really need to sometimes go to users and kind of build that relationship with them so at some point meaning if it's really small stuff like updating a browser or things like that I suggest you to go and talk to them because that's how you build your communication with them and it's really important right there but if you have some project like this where there's like 300 computers that you need to find out on a weekend then 100 percent I mean I'm thinking that 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 IT personal manager will be crazy if they told you not to use something like this okay that's kinda like the way to do things so that's inventory right there guys that's how it's gonna help you out so I'm gonna cancel that now the next thing we configure to deploy PDQ this one and let's go ahead and configure one more thing before we call it part one and we're gonna move to part two because I don't want my videos to be too long in one video so the other one that we're going to be setting up is Spikesworks in this video and we will end this part. So Spikesworks is another tool that does the inventory. It's a live scanning. So basically you can just anything that adds to the computers. So for example, if you have 400 machine, you have 100 machine, you have 15 machine, you have 10 machines and somebody install a software on it and your Spikesworks can scan it and it will tell you this software is installed on this computer recently. Or if there's an errors going on or a hard drive is going bad, you can find out. The one of the best thing about this you can use plugins where or some add-ins where basically it will tell you that this computer or this server is running out of the space go do something about it because one of the major thing that can happen if you have some domain controller or exchange or any some good computer that you configured for some services and it ran out of the space everything will get corrupted nothing will work so that's kind of really important a lot of people use spice work. it has huge community for IT people they are really good um, if you have any technical issues that are advanced you will definitely find someone that will help you out because these people have lots and lots of experience they are new all every type of IT person is available in this community for free so let's go ahead and set up Spiceworks quickly so just use the default port for now um, we're going to just click next 
win cap win p cap just make sure you click next on that one it's basically used for scanning and all that good stuff you'll find out everything later on about spike source when you start playing around with it and do a lot of searching about it and on internet you'll find a lot of videos and we have done that in our course also so you can watch those videos how we did everything in detail so in this video we'll just quickly install and run the spike source for the first time spice work is something that you can also use for reporting it's very powerful because you have everything so accurate and then like I said it has a lot of reports that you can just customize make it or you can install someone else report so our Spiceworks is already installed we're just going to say start Spiceworks now go ahead and click on that and it will open up your browser um, it sees right here it's on the right side it's starting and it will open up your browser right now so there you go now since IE is a little restricted because you have you're running a domain controller now most of domain controllers are going to be restricted I would suggest you to close this copy this link copy this link close your IE and open your Firefox and you will you will have access to Fire, Firefox in this lab to make things easier for you now definitely you will probably get a Windows machine from your system administrator where you won't have these type of issues they will not let you use the domain controller to install all of this stuff that is definitely not gonna happen this is only happening in this lab because we want you to have a full IT entry level to admin level access where you can play around with the server at the same time you're doing that entry level stuff and this is most of the admin stuff but um, to be honest there's really nothing more in help this entry level position that help this ticketing system and troubleshooting things but there are a lot of positions that we came across that they are just one man IT and they're doing help this admin at the same time so when your Spiceworks is started you will basically get this you will put your information right here if you already have an account which I do you will log in but if you don't you just make this information and click create account so you'll get this to get to this screen you basically will you have two options in this Spiceworks which we will touch one is to um, you have a let's say your boss comes to you and say hey you know what you're a new help this person and we would like you to create our help this ticketing system it's a small company we want you to take a lead of this project and so you can use spikes work which is free you can just click configure help this and you will have a full ticketing system inside spikes works if you're doing scanning and you're doing that inventory stuff and all that cool stuff you will just click on discover my devices you can also do that for mobile devices I'm gonna do click device and discover my devices what's gonna happen it's gonna ask you some questions here what we'll we will pick right here is inventory management and then we'll click next then it will ask you for the same remember we were talking about the domain administrator and all that stuff so if you have like printer using a different um, username and password you'll put that here if you have Linux Unix machine you'll use their passwords right here and if you have Windows machines right here you'll put that help this HQ make sure you put that HQ because that's your domain headquarter um, and then you'll put help this and put the same password here and we're gonna go ahead go to inventory I don't have this we'll just need to make sure that we click on that and then what's happening right now it picked up two devices right here one is the test staff remember we have the test staff that we it, right here this machine it already picked up if I go to system staff right here actually another machine is picking up okay we'll, it will find that address too it will be a staff machine right there but it says staff right here that's another machine this is another machine and it and if you click on it it is already uh, started its scanning and it tells you right now they're scanning you'll find out very quickly some information about description manufacturer and all that kind of stuff pretty cool stuff right here if you go to the dashboard on the top you can just remove these if you don't want your front page to look like this you can just click on it and remove that right there click OK and you can remove it and if you want to start scanning your network all you have to do is to start scan start network scan 
and it will basically look around for computers in your network now let me warn you if you are a brand new person to IT with scanning and stuff like that if you have a security team in IT and or a system admin that have any security stuff in place like firewalls and things like that it might start prompting them that there is a scan going on on the network so you need to be very careful I would suggest you anything you try over here make sure you talk to your manager or IT person that can I do this or can I do this in a lab environment where I can test out these things because I want to use these tools there that kind of good because I can um, you know it can make my job easier and all that so before you even try these scans and everything that's your warning right there that if you'd run this scan you probably will get some kind of call or someone might come to you and say hey are you trying to run a scan or what are you trying to do uh, and then it's gonna get awkward so make sure you don't get into that p point where you just start doing things and you don't know what you're doing so make sure you take a lot of that course that's why I'm keep saying that you, you know you can do these things in the labs right here and just feel free to just break it down and scan the hell out of these things but make sure you don't do these in a environment when you are uh, you know first person and you're just like new to this stuff and don't just throw things around you know if you get any login errors make sure that you can always go back and use another account which is your domain admin main account so you can use this account copy this just like with a credential area and then drop it that's your troubleshooting right there I wasn't really gonna show this but uh, I think people are gonna get stuck with this so that's your tip right there you can use that account to scan your computers so it says currently scanning the network a right here error login and then when I change that account it should work but like I said you will have probably errors like this and you see that I'm getting errors right now both of them got errored out now to fix this we need to go back and see what's going on we basically need to do some type of firewall thing because this computer might be blocking some of the things and even says login error but our login is correct we can click on fixed login error and here it says I take these steps to fix this additional 50 percent of your network so sometimes you need to really put the right password it says right Windows firewall permission issue now even the login is correct but we have an issue right here now this is something for you guys to resolve a great scenario right here where you can go to Spiceworks make an account in community and say hey I'm having this issue on my machine don't say I'm using a testing machine people won't be serious just say you know I'm having an issue with this and exactly give them the same thing and even Spiceworks might already have this P fix this issue if you click on it it will take you to troubleshooting and I'm gonna leave that for you so this part is over hopefully you guys will love this type of troubleshooting and that's what it's gonna make you a real IT person where you will be really confident on working on these type of issues and when you either work or do go to the interview you will just nail it see you guys in part two